Today, Thursday, October 22nd, 2020, Delta Airlines has taken delivery of its first Airbus A220-300 aircraft after about an hour flight from Mobile, Alabama, KBFM, November 302 Delta Uniform, Delta ship number 8302, landed at the airline's headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. Within the next few days, ships 8303, 8304, and 8305 are also expected to be delivered from Mobile. Although ship 8302 was not the first A220-300 on the Airbus production line for Delta, it will be the first delivered since November 301 Delta Uniform, which would have been ship 8301, was damaged during final assembly. Barring any unseen circumstances, Delta's A220-300 is set to enter revenue service on November 16, 2020. Flight 0223, given the name for the inaugural flight, is scheduled between Salt Lake City, Utah and Houston's IAH in Texas with an estimated 2 hour and 49 minute flight time. The original date for its service entry was November 10th, which was pushed to the 12th before being rescheduled to when it is today. In addition to its service entry in the Salt Lake City system, Delta has announced that it will be flying daily flights between Salt Lake City and Austin as well as Salt Lake City and Sacramento starting November 25th. The Airbus A220-300, like the 100 series, will feature one of Delta's most spacious cabins with a total of 130 seats. It is broken down to 12 first class seats, 30 comfort plus seats, and 88 main cabin seats. The first class cabin is set up in the 2-2 configuration where the rest of the aircraft is in the 2-3 config, with two seats on the aircraft left and a row of three seats on the aircraft right. The Airbus A220-300 is the latest aircraft addition to Delta in an effort to modernize the fleet with newer, more fuel-efficient aircraft. These aircraft add to its growing A220 fleet, which entered into service in February 2019. The airline currently operates 31 of the A220-100 variant, with two more expected to be delivered from Maribel this week. With the A220-100s that are still on order, Delta will have a total of 45 of the 100s in the fleet when deliveries are finished. The airline currently has 50 of the A220-300s on order, the first four of which are scheduled to be delivered this week as mentioned earlier. The A220 is not the only aircraft Delta has ordered to replace older aircraft. In October 2017, Delta's Airbus A350-900 entered revenue service replacing the aging 747-400. In July of 2019, the Airbus A330-900, the new engine option or NEO version of the current A330, entered into service. Delta also has the Airbus A321-NEO on order to add to its still-growing A321 fleet. With the addition of the new aircraft, Delta began to retire some of its older, less fuel-efficient aircraft. This year, accelerated by the COVID pandemic, the MD-88, MD-90, and 737-700 were retired. Both the 777-200ER and LR are expected to make their final flights in the coming week as they exit the fleet. Delta has also announced its plan to retire the 717 and 767-300ERs by the end of 2025, as well as the CRJ-200 by 2023's end. Delta Airlines was the first U.S.-based airline to fly the A220-100 and will be the first U.S.-based airline to operate the A220-300 as well, both being two great milestones for Delta. With this delivery flight, another milestone is achieved, however, this one a victory for another company. November 302 Delta Uniform will be the first A220 produced and delivered from Airbus's Mobile, Alabama factory, meaning it is the first U.S.-produced A220. This adds to Airbus Mobile's excitement after JetBlue's first A220-300 rolled out of the paint shop earlier this week and will soon begin its test flying. JetBlue will be the second U.S. carrier to operate the A220 and currently has 70 of the A220-300s on order.